Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, I shall be sharing with you some of the best resources to learn basics of data structures and algorithms. A uh, lot of people who uh, see my video or my channel for the first time, usually they are uh, like beginning uh, their journey of uh, uh, trying to get to know how to get a job in software industry. So the first thing that almost everybody listens to is you should learn data structures and algorithms. So after that, they will come and comment down in my, my videos, like how to learn DSA, tell me what resources you used and uh, such kind of questions, right? So I will give my personal opinion and in the end, I'll also tell like what exactly I did. And just a uh, you know reminder that you don't have to uh, use all these resources. I'm telling different resources because there are different kinds of people and people understand in different ways. So some like, for example, if somebody is learning from uh, us, uh, some instructor course, maybe other person might not get benefit from that. So and the reasons can be like language or like the delivery of the instructor or maybe the content itself. So there are many reasons. That is why I've chosen many courses. But in the end, I will tell what I feel and what I actually did. Okay, so, okay, so let us go. So the first uh, and uh, the most, uh, you know, uh, popular thing that I would say is Abdul Bari because uh, he, when the craze of data structures and algorithms uh, started to take peak, like almost everybody used to learn it for software job. Then uh, Abdul Bari's channel also became very famous. And I also refer to this only. That is why I have put it in the first uh, this thing priority. There is also a course on Udemy, C, C++. You can take that also. It is not that expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, on Udemy, there are many sales. Like uh, you will get course for 400, 385. Currently, everything is like 385, I guess. Or maybe it got over. Again, the sale will come. Like this sale was for Independence Day, I guess, and another sale will come. So you can buy that or you can just start with his uh, YouTube channel. His YouTube channel only has so many different videos. It covers everything, trees, graphs, all the complex data structures, linked list, stacks, queues, uh, the simple ones. Also the algorithms like uh, there is ribbon carp algorithm, string matching algorithm, uh, the graph algorithms, Bellman Ford, Dijkstra algorithm. So this will be very good. You will get basic understanding. So see, I'm I'm not sure that you will be able to code the problem by yourselves. I'm I'm not that sure of that. I mean, it depends on your own practice. But after you watch his video, you make it an effort to code. And in his C++ course, Udemy, one of my friend who has taken has told that in that he does the coding part so you can take his c++ course only then uh, it will be beneficial for you i think even java course he has but uh, data structures and algorithms c c++ and one more thing i want to say that uh, in indian placement like scenarios like almost from all my friends and seniors i've heard that it is better to do c c++ java for data structures and algorithms so c++ java only you choose either one of them uh, Python, uh, not so much. It is most for project development. So don't choose that for data structures and algorithms. And if you have a choice between C++ and Java, which one to choose, anything will be actually fine. But if it is possible, you can actually go for Java because in industry, it is a dominant, a dom a dominant and it will dominate for some time. Next is uh, Jenny's lecture. Now, Jenny's lecture, actually it was for gate aspirants, I guess, but then um, there are so many different videos. And uh, as you can see in this one, it is much sort like algorithm. Like there are many breadth first search, depth first search, and it is a very detailed explanation, like 30, 35 minutes. So you don't have to look for other kind of resources. It is uh, in one place and mostly it is in English language. Even Abdul Bari best part is English language, universal that everybody can understand. Although many Indians like Hindi content, but yeah, it, you can understand it. And uh, 
apart from dsa on this channel there are so many other uh, subjects uh, uh, for gate like dbms actually all cs core subjects uh, os and all that so along with jenny's lectures you can also see some youtube channel like gate smashers but uh, i think it will be better for, for i mean if you are concentrating only on dsa then i think jenny's lectures will be nice currently i think uh, on this channel uh c programming is going on i think it's for beginners so if you are some first year student or a beginner in programming and we are doing c programming you can check that out also so this is also a pretty good uh, youtube channel for learning the reason why i put youtube channels first is because nowadays the trend is that only right so we go to youtube channel and uh, start watching the lectures but then remember that you have to code it you have to do the practical coding otherwise just watching the video won't help you i will tell you what i did in the end don't worry so stay tuned till the end next channel is uh, code with harry this channel mostly is in hindi it is a very nice channel uh, there are apart from dsa he has done so much more like app development web development machine learning data science so many are there uh, personally i have not uh, referred to this but many of many friends of mine have referred to his channel uh he speaks in hindi again so you have to adjust if you don't know a little bit we will tend to understand anyway he will be coding only and you will get to know what it what exactly is happening but uh, don't just don't, don't get confused that only stack operations is written in this photo he, but he i think some 81 videos are there in a playlist you can check it out all the links will be there in description actually youtube links you can google it i mean youtube it by yourself the other links i'll put it in the description okay so just search in youtube bar code with harry mostly you'll be knowing it if you don't know then it is also nice reason i put it here was uh, if you get to know this channel there are other things also that are being uh, taught on this channel and also for people who speak in hindi they're comfortable with hindi language then this is nice next will be courses on uh, udacity and udemy see on udemy there is one very nice course uh, my, my close friend took it data structures and algorithms deep dive using java now people who learn java or who want to learn java you can learn java along with dsa only direct so this course is excellent for that and again as i told i think it is only for 385 rupees you can take it off today only it is very Uh, affordable and it's really nice on udacity also intro into data structures and algorithms is there even on coursera there are many courses uh, but some people are scared because it is lot of uh, it is expensive actually you can start watching the lectures you can just say audit this course and then maybe you can also apply for financial aid like maybe you have to maybe make up some story or something and that tell that i am not able to buy this right now so something like that you might have to tell and you can actually do it so on coursera also there are many courses on uh, you, like uh, from university of michigan and all those thing that are very nice but the english language over there maybe some of you might not be able to understand or you know, might not be comfortable with so but still these two are very nice courses so if you are very beginner or uh, e even though you know a programming language i think you can still take this learning another language might not be a bad thing anyway java is used in industry a lot so earlier i told c++ course the abdul bari now you can take java if you are doing java anything is fine after this actually on code chef only there is like a certification program on data structures and algorithms here what they have done is they have divided the uh, entire course into many uh, topics and they have also given the problems all these problems are in code chef only the reason why i like this is because not only will you get some dsa also some competitive programming basics at least you will know and today exactly today somebody asked me that should i do co competitive programming is lead code enough see lead code is good if you want to only focus on dsa but do a little competitive programming that knowledge will be helpful at least your speed and accuracy will be nice uh, especially for getting internship i mean if i take my example only it was helpful uh, 
only dsa if i had done those tricks and those uh, methods to solve the problem quickly i don't think i would have understood that okay so yeah so you can take uh, i mean this is like uh, you can watch the video lectures also uh, on youtube there is a channel core chef only and many great instructors are there who are like i think five star six star uh you don't have to go to an academy though on the youtube channel only you can start learning and this will be nice practice for you so apart from all of this there are many websites which you can use uh, for a self study purpose like if you don't want to start with any course like you don't want to be dependent on only one resource then you can do self study and actually this is also very nice method like you can go you see geeks for geeks has actually everything the reason why i didn't mention geeks for geeks in the starting was like many people will get demotivated or they'll get confused like how i got actually i got confused after seeing that website what exactly should i start with but once you have some basic knowledge like uh, at least if you have a group of friends right uh, who are doing the same thing as you then geeks for geeks you will be nice because you will get to know from where should i study and how much should i study so for dsa i think geeks for geeks is very good also code academy is there code academy you can learn the programming language like suppose java you want to learn java and along with that you will also learn data structure algorithms but this will be very very basic very basic it will be it will just give you the fundamental idea that's all but code academy is very nice because you will know how to correct your mistakes because you have to do all the coding and you will know how to correct mistakes which is very important techy delight is also there techy delight the website itself is much more pleasing and uh, uh, all the topics are given in the website the header only and uh, i feel in many scenarios techy delight is much better than geeks for geeks because at least the code is documented little better on geeks for geeks some codes are wrong also techy delight that chance is less although it is there but chance is less and also there are many other websites like tutorials point and uh, code help or something like that but all of that are almost like a copy of geeks for geeks only so it's not that great and programs this website program is i think i used for python and i i just learned basics of python and this will be very nice for that uh the website is more interactive and uh, you will be engaged more here interactive in the sense i mean there is no chat bot or anything but then you all automatically feel nice the interface is nice also be uh, alert that you uh, are not alert in the sense like uh, have a idea in your mind that you have to check medium.com now medium.com will have lot of articles written and there are so many people who write about data structure algorithm all the courses like best problems for, for getting a job all those things will be there medium.com is also very very helpful and lastly lead code will be the best lead code for getting uh, this thing interview that will be actually very good because almost everything is there so you can use this also for getting basic knowledge after getting basic knowledge if you want to do variety questions then the dsa sheet love bubble dsa sheet what i am solving that also you can do that only you can do you will get more confidence now if you want to go to next level like competitive programming or anything go to code forces so i would suggest someone like this and some people might say you didn't mention hacker rank hacker rank uh, like lot of people just do hacker rank because their friends are doing it uh, it is nice but then i would say you can do hacker rank maybe after taking some course like uh, after you take for example uh, after you solve these problems on code chef maybe then you can go to hacker rank and get your five star six star badge that would be much better actually because here code chef at least you can look at others code and get a better idea of competitive programming only but hacker rank also you do because many companies have their interview like coding rounds on hacker rank only 
so that was also there i wanted to tell you that before your interview or coding uh, coding round try to look at hackerank interface and all that and hackerank c++ is very good java also is there very nice uh it will be easy only hackerank so that's all for this video i hope you got some idea please share this video with all your friends who have the doubt what to do what to do and yeah i forgot to tell about my part so my part is i mean what i did was that actually i started directly with code chef i didn't do any dsa uh, course or anything in the beginning very very starting directly i did uh, code chef i solved the basic that easy level pro not easy uh, school level problems i solved then i did uh, abdul bari's videos i used to watch these videos okay and after watching his videos uh i didn't take any of this actually jenny's lecture also i have watched for uh, i think bfs dfs i have watched some of them not complete uh, playlist but then i directly went for geeks for geeks and i used to do practice problems on geeks for geeks like uh, different companies are there no amazon microsoft the company wise uh, problems are there that i started doing and techy delight also i was doing topic wise i used to read those articles then love bubble dsa sheet came i was doing that but computer programming different i was doing on code chef i used to give contest code forces lead code i used to do every day almost earlier and lead code simultaneously i used to do so lead code was a very big help i would say and lead code is also uh, very good you can do it side by side so first get a basic understanding either c++ or java and then start all this so that's all for this video thank you for watching if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye